we 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 technically in America we speak English, but I speak New York. So yeah, New York. I speak New York. Yeah, I speak New York because I'm a New Yorker. Do you know? Uh, do you know? Do you know what a New York minute is? Tell me what a New York minute is. This is what I've heard. New York minute is the time between the traffic light turns green and the person behind you honks. No, not really. Because it's like <laughs> it's not even one second. It's like oh, no, no, no. New, <laughs> we have a very different mentality in New York when it comes to everything. So oh, really? it's like when it's like yeah, it's everywhere I go, I'm like, we got things to do. We got things to do. People all over the world are like, oh, it's pretty. It's not pretty. We have things. We have things. You know. So it's a different mentality. I saw so. a program yesterday on YouTube. Uh, I watch. Uh, I don't know if you watch any of these uh, architect architectural digest. Oh it's my amazing. god! I, I I live for those because I have nothing better to do with my life. No, but Stephen, architectural digest <laughs> know, on YouTube, it. yeah, is a brilliant YouTube channel. Okay. And yesterday they were talking about the design of the United Nations building and why oh, wow. it's so so postmodern, why it's so sure. out of keep with all the other buildings in New York. And as a result, the answer was that there are about six or seven really major architects in the 1940s collab mm -hmm. collaborate, including Le Corbusier, collaborated mm. to make this building. Right. Look, I'm coming to the New York thing in a moment. They said they wanted a building mm -hmm. that transcended cultures and nations. Right. Which is what they've done. Right. And they said that it is because of this that the capital city of the world is New York. Well, you didn't well, you're telling me that. Uh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm, saying, you, I'm saying this to you as an outsider. Obviously, you live in your own bubble there, so you don't... Wow. Like oh, wow. Wow, well, it hurts. Yeah, you know? no, it's a bubble. It's a it's a beautiful thing. It's got rainbows and colors, and it's soft and it's gentle, but it has got a bit of a shell. Let me just tell you what I tell all the fans oh, that leave, uh, that, that that leave their snarky <laughs> comments when we do a you show that they don't. Off. That's what you yeah. said to your fans. No, I do. I do not. I am very cultured from New York. I told the fans to go play my favorite game, which is go hide and go fuck yourself. Now, after saying that, <laughs> and because I say that with love. Um, we're going to start the show now. Are you guys ready? I thought uh, that was. Uh, I, I thought we were it. going. We'll go for well, it. Well, te technically, first of all, I'm going to. This is the cliffhanger for the beginning of the show. <laughs> Guess who? Riza blew. I mean, blew off oh, today. Please, oh, please, please, oh, please, oh, please <laughs> no, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what would put it in your mouth. Anyway, no, no. we're going to start no, no. the show. Just, I would. I would still like to know who you. Who did you blow? Off <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. I did not. I think it was just trying to say who he blew off. But anyway, we will yeah. have a dialogue. We'll discuss this right after the uh, the intro and tell everybody what we're smoking. And I'm smoking one of Riz's favorite cigars, I think. <laughs> it is. This is 2OF Entertainment. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment, with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers and rapidly growing to be the most watched and podcast cigar show broadcast globally. The Habanos Cigars Dinner and Drink Show, exclusively on 2OF Entertainment. And Dodd again. Riyad. Wait, Dodd Riyadh is really? saying good morning to Dodd Riyadh this morning, reading in the comments. All right, Dodd. Or good afternoon. So, yes. All right. Oh, so, okay. So that's Dodd or Dodd Riahi. His name okay. is Mehdi Dodd Riahi or yeah. Dodd Ray. Hello, hello, sir. It's, 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 it's at least one of us speaks Yiddish. That's important. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, so well, this... well, technically, well, technically, Dodd is yeah. English mm. from an Iranian descent. And I'm Dodd. And just. And, 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 yeah. And, and and just lives in the Arab United Arab Emirates. I love so, you. In fact, I just got a, a a message from my guy over there. Um, there's a something they want me to purchase, and they're keep enticing me with more things they're going to throw in. If I uh, wait another couple of months, I figure they're just going to throw in a country. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm keep waiting. So it's nice. I'm like, no, keep. I'm the longer we tell them we're thinking about it, the better the better the deal is getting. So I'm loving this. So, but anyway, enough about uh, that. Welcome to the, the people from the UAE. Um, I'm waiting for the Saudis and the and the cut people from Cutter to show up, but uh, you know it's uh, late there. Anyway, yeah. let me let me start off with Riz's favorite cigar. I'm smoking an Opus X in the tube this afternoon. 
Or this that is one of my favorite cigars. I, t- I just said that. So, yeah, so I'm going to smoke no, but this. But I'm saying it with a lot more irony. That is one of my yeah. favorite cigars. Yeah, I know, because <laughs> you're not a big fan of non-Cubans. But I like no, this cigar. it's one of my favorite cigars. I've realized that in order to placate people these days, I just agree with them. And then they get a bit nervous, because normally I disagree with people. But when I agree with people, it makes them pause and think, show me the cigar again. No, we're good. Anyway. No, 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 no. Show, me, show, me one more. show me the tube. Show me the tube. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, woo, there you go. So it's just like <laughs> it's just like the person you blew. Anyway, um, now off blew off today. I'm sorry. Before the show, before we actually recorded, Rizzo said, "Do you know who I blew?" Oh, and yes. then he paused, and then he said, "Off," so I could do the show today. <laughs> and then we've been making fun of him, um, and that'll be the running gag for the joke. And anyway, who he blew, comma off, um, is Kirby Allison. So Kirby, yeah. if you're watching. Call us now you know, now you know, for any other I, reason now, other than the now, now you know why now you know why Raza actually couldn't get time out for you today. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he okay. the blow. Have it the way you want. Have it with the narrative that you want. We and we will spin it just like when Usman oh. couldn't do the show and we spun it with Viagra. Wait till we yeah, see your exactly. spin. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And gentlemen, what are you smoking today? Because I'm sure Mr. Dodd doesn't care about uh, who Rizzo was going to blow off. So there you go. I ain't smoking anything, gents. What? 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 Have you given up? Have you given up smoking oh, dead leaves in paper bags in wooden boxes that go. cost six million pounds? I will the AI will start. Do you know this is just wood? Do you know that? It's wood and it's dead wood. Do you know that this is just paper is just paper do you know that these are just dead leaves uh steven yes sir can we please switch off the ai mode <laughs> yes i will switch off the <laughs> ai mode <laughs> yeah, back to normal. Get real get the real rizzo back Not the one no, I, I say these things i say I these things reason. not not for you I don't, I don't say these things for your benefit i say them for my benefit actually in order to keep myself grounded because oh God, sometimes the hot air builds up and the boot balloon goes too high. Yeah. One needs to stay a little bit grounded. This is just dried leaves. That's all it's mm. about. Having said that, having said that, something so insignificant as dried leaves brings people together. And it brings them together in a sense of conviviality, camaraderie. We talk about intelligent things. We talk about philosophy, fashion, lifestyle, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And uh, we leave the politics at home, I think. Is that reasonable? Did I say something reasonable for a change? You, you did. Now the show. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna we go on a high That's note. It. Sermon <laughs> over. The sermon's over. That's the shortest show we've ever done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, people, people on the podcast are like, "What? It's over. Stop." Well, so, Sean, explain why you and why aren't smoking you smoking? Yeah, what's in going, a paper why, band from a yeah, why aren't box. you smoking today? Well, gently. The yes, reason we are. I'm not, the, the, the yeah, the reason I'm not smoking today is I have to attend a wedding okay. uh, right after this. And okay. I have like loads and loads of guests at my place. Huh? Hence, I cannot afford to create the beautiful aroma in this room so that when uh-huh. they pop in, they're just like dead with that because we uh-huh. love it. Many people don't like it. Hence, I'm being considerate today and not smart. Wow. I can't even spell that word, but uh, thank mm-hmm. you. So, are you telling me your life is not your own? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, when your mom is around you, mm. it is never our own. And you can totally understand, given the fact that you are also the elder son. <laughs> yep. When mom yeah. says no, you it's no. Anybody yeah. else says no, you don't care. But mom says no, you're like, nope, mom says yeah. no. It's, that's yeah, it. I totally get that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, Riza, um, and, and see, just because Riza, we knew you blew someone up off to make the show he's making them wait to start a wedding to do the show just so we're clear they're waiting for him priorities, to do the show <laughs> he's waiting for them okay so what are oh, you by smoking the way, uh, by the way yes. by the way i'm pairing my uh topaz with one of my favorite pairing drinks uh, i'm going to good. say this because actually you know what any drink aside can't go wrong with a coke zero honestly oh. that's fine and, and just so it sweetens the mouth, then you're ready for and, puff two. And, puff and as Bill, as Bill Murray and Sean Connery would say, it's Centauro time. So cheers. Or Centauro. Geo. Time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll pick up the. There you go. 
There we go, boys. It's the backup. It's the backup drink. The backup drink. <laughs> I like thank God we got that. So our fans are anxiously at the edge of their seats. What is our topic today, gentlemen? Uh, you are about to show us some pre-embargo cigars. I have to actually go get them. So here's my Saturday morning routine, unfortunately. My choice is either smoke or don't smoke. And I'm, I smoke whenever I get the opportunity. But by the time I'm done working out, and I get up at 4 a.m. to do all this, I work out. I take the dog for her workout. We get back, take our showers. And then I am putting stuff for the Lost Dollar Business Club, which goes on right before this show to get it out for stuff. And then I literally have about a minute. Sound, they sound like excuses. excuses they are excuses. Because excuse yeah, I have to go in the house and go excuse get them. Number four. So, excuse yeah, yeah. Number five. That's fine. That's fine. But and by the end of the show, I will go pull out and and I've just seen this one. I'm going to pull out the H Upman one, the the one in the tube. I'll do that before the end of the show. Thank you. And then and then, more, and then next more. the next time it rains or it's cold out here and I can't of be course. out, I will do a whole display. But the Steve, one that I, I think they're you, 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 you're a class act. You're a I'm class being, act. I'm just being honest. It's like, you're you know. a class act. You're going to dig in me? I'm going to dig in you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is coming from the guy that blew someone. Oh. Uh, well, you were pulling out. Well, you were pulling out. So yeah. I don't know which is worse. There you go. Oh, my God. I'm going to pull uh, out this. I'm going to pull out that. I'm going to pull out this. You're firm, oh, wedgely yeah. firmed in there. I'm firming, firming, pulling out. But yes, sometime yeah. during the show, I will go into my office and, and pull that out so everybody Ooh. can at least see that. Are you pull out again? Mm. Mm. It's a record. I, I, you guessed that right. So how is it that Usman is not wearing is it, a tie it, on a wedding? It, but I'm wearing a Sherwani. What are you talking about? I'm in the most formal... You're in national attire. dress. It's called yeah, national I, dress. I'm in the most yeah. formal attire any Pakistani could be. Like. Actually, 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 uh, both of you in the sort of... The, this is a cigar smoking dilemma. It's a first world dilemma. I'm sure. contemplating. I, I've got to get a a, um, a a very nice dinner jacket combination made. But I'm actually thinking of mm -hmm. going native. I'm thinking of going Sherwani mode from now on. Because, you know, when you go to a formal function, a black tie function, yeah. you are allowed to wear what's called national dress. That's the sort of that was the diplomatic way of, uh, you know, sort of in the. So I'm thinking of going with black Sherwani and white uh, shalwar, that kind of thing. Do you think I should do that, or I should go for the Western look? Why not? Oh, I would, <laughs> no, I would go for the national dress. National yes, dress, but with a few cigars casually stuck in the top pocket. Oh yes, I would, yeah, yes. Instead of, instead of the pocket square. Yeah, yeah. I'll sort of look like Neo out of the Matrix, but uh, older version. Well, well. First of all, let's not get carried away. You'll look like something. We don't know if you'll look like Neo out of the Matrix. So let's not. Very kind. Of, very very kind. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I love you too. Listen, before we go, I'm at your into this, I'm at your mercy. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> May I get you a slippy side? It'll be very nice. Um, can you what you call it? Can you tell us what you're smoking? Since Osman, our our Samane is not smoking today, we you have to tell us I'm, what you're I'm smoking. I'm smoking. I'm smoking for two. I'm smoking on Osman's behalf. Actually, I'm smoking for three. Trinidad okay. in Spanish means Trinity. So three people. Yeah. Can you see this? Yes, we can. Yeah. Can you see the Trinidad? Mm. No. Usman will tell you, given the ring gauge, which yes, yes. Trinidad this is. Right. This is Trinidad Topaz. You've already given it in your own words. So I, I? Yes. Uh, yes. The sound time is kicking in. I forget from moment to moment what I said before. Exactly. 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 I'm sorry. That's the Alzheimer's kicking in. I forget from moment to moment what I said. Yeah, yeah. We got we got that the 47 times you've told us there, Grandpa. We're I'm good. sorry. It's the <laughs> Alzheimer's kicking yeah, in. Yeah. I forgot. But I'm bummed. He's here till Thursday, folks. Tip the wait staff and try the veal. So, well, given given you can have that on loop as a short. You can have that on loop. It'll be looped. <laughs> you're on, he's on given, given the fact, given the fact that you, we've talked about the Trinidad Topaz, uh, just to share, Trinidad Topaz was the limited edition for 2016. And now it has been put in as a formal regular production cigar uh, since then. One of those extremely superb cigars in the Trinidad family. And to an extent that one of my friends and brothers, Jasim Ahmed, the hombre habano for the last year, uh, claims or, or says or terms this as the new Bihike. So Trinidad <laughs> Topel is a real treat once you're smoking it. Yeah, it's good. Very nice. Very good, nice. So now, the good ring wedding. gauge. Usman, yeah. what's the ring gauge on this? 56. Oh. 
55 or 56? Wait. No, Something really? Like, that doesn't look like a 50. That looks like a 52, no, maybe. No, 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 no. It, 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 it's not. It's, in my personal thinking, I'm not sure. If it's Even if it's 56. Give me one. I'm minute. thinking 52 because it kind of looks like this one. Yeah, 56. Like the yeah, yeah. 56, really? 56, 125. Yes. Wow. It doesn't well, look I that good. I said it without looking it up, actually. No, you are a genius, my friend. Oh, you. I just. I, and, and you should know, in my position, if I have to say or comment on anything, it better be authentic. So it is always okay to be checking it before mm -hmm. I say it and then be... <laughs> I, I, am, I am always shocked. I'm always shocked by people who know their stuff, including this includes Osman. I'm shocked these days by people who've memorized so many Vitolas and regionals. It's right. incredible. So there you go. And, and on cue, Osman, just a bit... I did a. Who's that? Who's that? Huh? He's being a. Who's that? I'm not in. Who was here? I haven't. Can't understand the word. He, he had it. He had to duct tape the children that were screaming. So that's why he disappeared for a second. He can't do that oh, live on on the air. They frown upon it apparently in some countries. Some I actually figured that right. Why I was. Off the camera, oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> listen, you little, you little monsters, and I'm sure there's another word used. Keep this up, Daddy's gonna whack you. See, he's gonna again. whack the kids again. <laughs> All right, so you're amazed by people that have knowledge. Do you so, tell? <clears throat> I went on Cuban Cigar website. This one knows this very well. Cuban Cigar. I, I asked this question to two friends who were sitting in front of me, uh, smoking sure. at Tom Tom. And uh, I said, there must be a list somewhere of all the regionals ever produced. In fact, actually, we were talking about Osman, but we go on to this topic. Right. And uh, they said, yeah, well, Reza, go on Cuban Cigar website, click on regionals, and you get the full list. You get the full yeah. list. It's a really, really amazing. I mean, uh, I'm not plugging Cuban Cigar website, but it's worth, worth checking out, really. Right. Anyone, anyone uh, the full list of all the regionals have ever been produced by date, by size, by Vitola size, by name, by, you know, region? by... By what region? Right? By, issue, yeah. by issue year, the country, etc. So I did something which I thought, I thought, let's have a little competition. We played a little quiz game. I just called out the name of a cigar. And the, the two gentlemen sitting in front of me were 95 plus percent accurate on their scoring. They could wow. tell me the region, the size, the year of issue, and the Vitola name. They knew their stuff. I mean, wow. we're talking nerd, nerd. Le well, actually, nerd doesn't guess, do it justice. Guess, nerd guessing, to me, I'm the word nerd is a bit negative word, right? But I'm right. talking genius level. Um, I'm guessing you were sitting with Christian and Yao. Yes. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. but between the two, but between the two, they nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. I was honestly, I was shocked. In fact, I'm going to do this on a regular. I'm going to sit down with people who I know who know their stuff. And this is not to test them. This is actually just for my personal enjoyment to see how far they can get up that ladder. <laughs> Very so, nice. I, I, so whilst they're masterminds, I can be sort of like a moderator. This is how I learn about cigars. Wow. You learn by marinating around others who know much more than you do. But then you bring you have to bring something to the party. You have to bring your own energy to the party, if you know what I mean. Sure. Yes. Tell, us, well, tell us what you bring. Well, what I do is this. Here's my <laughs> analogy. And don't forget the word analogy starts with anal. Oh, yeah. That's yes, why you blew someone off. If yeah, you, we got if that. You, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you took a piece of raw chicken and okay. you put it down in lemon juice... Whether you grill the chicken, fry the chicken, roast the chicken, barbecue the chicken, the chicken will taste of lemon, correct? That is, I think, correct. I don't know. Okay. So the lemon juice oh, yes. are all these people who yeah. have all this knowledge. I'm the chicken. Very I nice. bring the chicken to the party. That, well, it's about what party are you going to? Do you like That's the analogy? Yeah. I, I, I painted that in my head in real time in order wow. to make a point. I see that. Elucidate that point. Wow. You know, I'm impressed that you are like. I know you're impressed. Say that Webster. one more time. Say, say that one more time. You're what? 
I said, I'm Stephen. Um, but I'm glad you're starting to use, to use big words now. I mean, double syllables, triple syllables. This is fascinating for me. Yes, I'm, well, this is part of the therapy. This is the I am like a therapy. sponge. It's sort of like use bigger words so less people can understand what you're saying. There you go. <laughs> just, we, should do, we should just all speak in like hyperbole and, and mega words, you know, and, and that would be really cool. Hey, on, the, on a side note, um, because I'm assuming it's going to have to be a short show because our friend's going to have to go to a wedding, if they're, even though they're waiting for him, as they should, because this is very important, um, than the wedding. Because, you know, how long is that marriage going to last? Like, come on, seriously. Anyway, <laughs> uh, a couple of days, a week, a year. The show lasts forever. Um, but your boy Trump looks like he's going to become uh, the president again. Oh, really? Is, is That's a big surprise to me. I, I knew. Well, I knew you had doubts. My only question is, you are the I only like one to pick well, winners. Wait, 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 this wait, is wait, what wait. I bring to the party. Wait, like wait, to wait, pick winners. Steve, Stephen, the only yeah. question is, you are the one. Oh, who by the way, by the way, by the way, who's not a believer? Both of us, both of us knew that he is going to become the president. You're the yeah. one who was banking on a different horse. Yes, I was hoping for a different horse, because when you read all his ex staff people talking about that he's a fascist and he and he likes Hitler and all this other stuff. Um, it gets me a little nervous for democracy. And, you know, I, I'm Jewish. I and, and, and seeing how that played out in the 30s and 40s wasn't real happy. Um, but Stephen, it looks like Mr. Stephen, Trump Stephen, will be president. Stephen, on yes. a very, very serious note, on a sure. really, really serious note. I look good. He I know. doesn't I mean a word of it. I don't. What? I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying this in a, in a very heartfelt. I'm saying this in a heartfelt way. Yeah. Because, okay. Right. I'm saying this in a heartfelt way. I think he's a total discombobulator. There's another okay. few syllables there for you. Thank you. He likes to throw it up in the mix. And actually, he's a populist. He will say what needs to be stirred up. But then actually, this is the only way of guiding people away from their extreme views, to be very honest right. with you. If he does, if he is a smart individual, he will leave America better than it was before. If he's a smart individual. Right. If he want, if if he's legacy driven, if he's also, if if there is ego, even that requires success of some sort. So let's see what will happen. But I don't think he means. Well, I genuinely don't think he means that stuff. I'm, I will. We'll see. The the election is less than ten days away, so we're going to find out relatively quick. And I also don't think it's going to be um, decided. Like the old days, like when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, we have a president. I think this one is going to be contested in court up until January. I think they're going to be fighting back and forth about this is this and this is that. And this, I think they're going to go back and forth no I, matter who You know who what wins. I would say? You know what I would say? I would say cut the child in half and give one half to each parent. Usman is on mute. He doesn't know what he wants to say yet. He's, he's I, I would say, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Given, given, given the suggestions coming from Raza, uh, please. No, please, that's the that's please, the wisdom please, of Solomon. Please, uh, please uh, that's Solomon's wisdom, isn't it? No, Stephen, can can you please restart the AI mode? Yeah, I again, know. I have to click the AI. Yeah. 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 Well, see, I know, I know, we can't really talk about politics because one of us is in a country that sometimes they don't like it, and then all of a sudden the UFO gods come in. I know. So I we, know. we try to we try to keep it somewhat light. Um, so we'll just have a great show, chaps. Thank you. Osman. This guy loves you, Osman. This Dodd Riyadh guy, he loves you. He's, he's like your he's, best buddy. He's probably going to be at the wedding. He is. He is a brother and a friend, oh, as well okay. as an ambassador and advisor at Cigar Key, too. Very nice. Hey, you know, we plug Kirby's stuff so much. Kirby, start plugging our show. So yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we plug his Cigar Key. We both need to meet up together. Uh, I we tried, but unfortunately, uh, you know, yeah. Kirby's uh, Kirby. I but if I go to Kirby's, I have to wear my tux. Oh yes, because he's always no. dressed. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tuxedo. American is tuxedo, British yeah. is dinner jacket. Dinner oh, jacket, yeah. yes. But I'm just saying, I'd have to be in a tux. You're going to do an interview with Kirby this week, aren't you, Mister Riza? Riza is going to yes. Yeah, well, yeah. I, um, I'm probably going to smoke. Let's see what happens. I to be very honest with you, I don't know. I, Usman would know better, but okay. Uh, Let's let's have a, a we'll have a chin wag and then we'll see how that expands out and uh, see where it goes. Yeah, I mean you know you, you can remind him that we we plug his show because we know we'll he be needs smoking that. EGMs together, EGM cigars. Really? Um, wow. Yeah. Ooh, I, the thing is, this I, I'm fascinated by this EGM thing. I'm fascinated yeah, they're, they're, because Dominican cigar. Right? 
Asian cigars are amazing cigars. But given the fact that it is going to be a cigar keep interview, and which is a platform for primarily Cuban cigar smokers, I'm hoping that both of you would be smoking something Cuban. <clears throat> Tell everybody about the EMG or EMG cigars. EGM, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so everybody about that. Right. So uh, EGM is a company that was formed around five years ago. Okay. Um, and, and that was the birth year or like the, the opening was somewhere in February or March, which is exactly why they celebrate every year their anniversary or the birthday of the company uh, while they are in Cuba during the Havana's festival days, okay. uh, which is always in the last week of February. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's uh, owned and run by two very smart uh, gentlemen, Itor and Nicola. Nicola happens to be a fellow sommelier. Oh, very nice. And and they are uh, they are an online uh, retail network uh, for primarily the Cuban cigars. But yes, they have a few non-Cubans as well. Okay. In addition to that, they have their own uh, line of Dominican puros uh, by the name of EGM Cigars, in which they have, if I'm not wrong, nine different bitolas, starting from the Half Corona equivalent to a uh, diadema, which is their latest release. Okay. So, 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 so they, 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 I, and I've been fortunate to initially uh, sample the first five vitolas uh, when they came out a couple of years ago, and they were I really loved that, especially the right. robusto one. And now in the new range, I, I really enjoyed their Encanto, which is a Lancero as well as the Robusto and the Bleco, which is slightly right. bigger than the Robusto. Uh, I'm yet to savor on the Diadema because that has a newest release, so I've not been able to get my hands on it. But other than that, I mean, I think I think they're very good cigars. Their marketing is very interesting. Uh, they go out and they, they've done some real great events across countries uh, to, to promote and to uh, let people make aware of what their offering is in terms of cigars, so 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 some real great uh, non-Cuban cigars available with them. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to try some. Good. Are they almost yes. as good as Mirafils? Well, I would say they are actually good, not like Mirafils. So you got the answer. <laughs> so what would you buy, Mirafils or these guys? How about Arturo well, Fuentes? Well, Mir well, no, well, well Mir Mirafils will only be bought by Reza. We'll right. buy EGMs right. and all the others. Because so let me ask you this. Luna has how claimed is, his, Luna has claimed his, Oh wow. How do they compare to how do they compare to this one? This is a Fuente? Yeah, look. A Opus X one. Okay. So I I, I I I haven't smoked this specific one, so I can't okay. really say. But I can say they are better than a lot of regular Fuentes. Okay. And when I say, well, any, when a I lot, say, there's a lot of things better than Fuentes. This one just, yeah. I, this one was on, this is how Jewish I am. The place where I buy the, my non Cubans had a sale. So they um, like, you know, what they mark these down like a one, a flash sale. And I just happened mm -hmm. to be on my laptop that night, like at two in the morning when they did it. And I was like, sure, I'll take as many as I can get. I kept going, click, 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 like your friend that is, I don't really smell anything. I don't really taste, I taste Centauri. Um, but really at the end of the day, it is like I've always said, and, and I know Usman used this one day on a, a thingy, which telling me that if I want um, smoke and kind of a little bit of aroma, that's a, a non-Cuban. And if I I'm want- I'm going to do a cigar plug. plug. I'm going to do a cigar sure. plug. Okay. Because, you can do that. But before because, that, be let's, let's wish Stephen a, a very good morning, given the fact that his scenery has already- Changed from black to sky blue. It's yes. just AI generated. It's just the, the, it's, it's, it's the casino. The, I was I left the casino just to come and do this. <laughs> yes. So as you can tell, I'm dressed in my 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 Monte Carlo casino outfit. Um, and I think I have to put a little pocket square in there to break the jacket mm -hmm. up. I think next nice. week. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bring in Mr. Raza. The impression, perhaps, that you and people watching have is that I don't particularly like non-cuban cigars having said comes. that having said that <clears throat> i have referenced this brand before it's actually a davidoff brand 
uh, the Camachos. I yeah. have yeah. always thought there is delivery on a Camacho. Always really? perfectly made. I, I've never smoked a bad cigar. It is. It does have a production line yes. kind of quality Even to it. Yes. Oh, UFO gods got him again. Seriously? Seriously. The UFO got him. No, I think... I think he's doing it for effect. Camachos... Yeah. yeah. ...have always tickled my fancy because apart from getting just smoke and sort of pretty much a perfect smoke, I mean, there's always... Right. There's never any structural issues. As I said, it's a Davidoff product that's really made well, a bit like the Zeno cigars. Right. Nice. They, you do get tasting notes on that. You can, so yeah. there's the, the Maduro, there's the Caroja, uh, there is the Criollo, the, 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 and there's the Ecuador, which is like, will blow your brains apart, which is the blue right. macho, right? I seriously recommend, if you can get, you can, I'm sure you can get them in the US. I'm sure oh, yeah. you can get them. You should try Can uh, Camacho Connecticut's. You'll find okay. us a really good morning smoke with a little bit of a creamy coffee taste to it. It's a oh, really okay. nice cigar. And I'm, right. this is where I'm not doing any of the hating or this. This is very, yeah. very serious. And I've smoked enough of them to have an opinion on that. I may have smoked maybe, I don't know, 200 sticks. Wow. Okay. And, uh, and I kind of swear by that cigar because it's a perfect, it's like, I and mean, it's bang for buck, you know, you pay yeah. whatever, 15, 10, 15 dollars, you always get a great smoke. So Stets did my equivalent of my uh, CAO Brazilian Amazon then. I would imagine it's a less, you see, I can't remember when I smoked the CAO Brazilian last right. or, or any of their cigars. In fact, I showed you last week one of the worst, yep. if not the worst cigar I ever smoked was made by CAO. Yeah, uh, it was. Uh, I don't know. Do you remember that very long yep. band that I showed you? I, I, I remember. Right. See, I only smoked the one from CAO because I've heard like from other people that like are CAO fans. They're like they only make one good cigar. I mean, to their their the guys that I know that smoke them a lot, and it was the Brazilian, and I tried it, and I've never tried another one. Is it a mild? Okay with that. Is it a mild cigar or a? It's supposed to be a full body, but I think I've been smoking so long. That even when I hear full body, whether it's a Cuban or non-Cuban, I'm kind of like, eh, it's I'm good, you know. Give like I don't the, give the Camacho Connecticut a whirl, give it okay. a whirl, and have it with a coffee in the morning. I have a mm -hmm. feeling, a sneaking suspicion that there's a fifty percent chance you'll find that as a wonderful regular smoke. It's not, okay. it's not, it's not a budget buster at all. Right. Uh, it always delivers. It's not. I've just never had one that doesn't. It always delivers. Okay, I'll try. It's basically mm -hmm. your McDonald's cheeseburger. Doesn't matter where you go, yeah. that's what it is. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but right. it always delivers. All right, we'll try it. Like a Those faithful nice... dog. Like a faithful... <laughs> <laughs> Or sugar baby, it's the same thing. They're always there. Yeah. Anyway, I have, I have my take. I, I have my take on Camacho as well, Stephen. Please. Do you know uh, how Rosa started the praise of Camachos by saying it is a baby, which it is. It is something which always delivers. Sir, sure. I was. I was just gonna say yes, it delivers. Just an, what they say as an immature or a premature born baby, because it is harsh, <laughs> not fully developed, and crap load of spices in any of the videolas they have. Wow. Sorry, Mr. Reza. Uh, I don't like that scorpion of yours. <laughs> he does like the, you know, but, but here's, uh, here's, the, here's the difference. Here's the difference. Yeah. Whilst you are far more learned than I am on the Cubans. Says who? Says who? Uh, I'm saying it. I just said it. The words came out of my mouth. It's uh, true. It's on the internet. I have smoked enough Camachos and around the Camacho neighborhood to, and, and the reason, by, by the way, and the reason I was recommending to Stephen the Connecticut, in my opinion, is the mildest, the most, can I, I'm, I'm really going to say something quite outrageous. Please. It reminds me of a K Dorsey profile. What? Well, it does. God, it, does. it does. That's it reminds me of a K Dorsey 
kind of Kido taste, Six. kind Kido of flavor. It's a mild cigar, and it is a very, very smooth cigar from that perspective. And so is the Camacho Connecticut. Camacho Connecticut, Camacho Connecticut, Camacho Connecticut. Not mild, peppery, and they hit you in the face. The Camachos? I see. Yes. I've, I've never... I'll, I will actually, try you can one see it there. There's one there. Right. Yeah, I know. I know. I can see that. But actually, but that's, my CAO Brazilians, I think, are probably... They're considered full body. Way, and I know... I know way, I like, better. way better. Way better? Okay. So way better than Camachos. Any given day. <laughs> Sorry, Camacho. We tried. <laughs> Well, you, see, I, I, I am a man of very firm opinions. Uh, yeah. and so I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I am a man of firm beliefs as well. But well, then, you know, I, for the right, I, think, for the, I think I think you're both missing an opportunity to sample. I'll try one. I'm going to try. Delivers. I will try. I, a I, I, I'm, I'm not going to say you're wrong I'm, because I'm. I'm uh, because I, I have tried a lot of those on your on your I, recommendation. I you're every time disappointed something. Because sometimes, you, okay, so there's one more thing, Usman. One more thing. Uh, when I try a new cigar, whichever cigar it is, I smoke it three, four, sometimes five times in order to, um, if I really want to understand the cigar, I'll have to smoke it three or four times, maybe five times, especially with Cubans. Because from time to time, one cigar won't deliver, and that's the one or two in the box that is not going to deliver. Yeah, and right. then I'll smoke it again. And I might even try smoking it outside. And then I'll smoke it on my own. And then I'll get a bit of a flavor profile going and I'll get an understanding of that cigar if I really want one. If, so if a cigar delivers a little, then I will sample it many, many times. If it doesn't deliver right. anything, I might smoke it, I might not. With the Camacho, I found myself doing it again and again and again and again. And it was just consistently, didn't matter whether it was outside or indoors, it was delivering the same note, the same smoking experience. And that's why I liked it. Uh, sometimes okay. you need something. Well, sometimes I need something that's just consistent. I wouldn't smoke them all the time, but it, in the environment, Osman knows this. When I was sitting in Islamabad, when I was sitting in Pakistan, I was smoking a lot outdoors in, in gardens, and I, for that, it was perfect. Okay. Well, in my opinion, if I need so many qualifiers to ensure that a cigar is good, I might as well just save that for some other crap time because I like to spend time with a good cigar. So why would I need to be in a specific environment, in a specific country, in a specific this, in a specific... No, I, I'm just saying time and place. It, it's yeah, sometimes you find your, yeah, sometimes you find your enjoyment in a specific, you know, sometimes it's in a lounge or whatever, whatever, whatever. But... Uh, a good cigar is a good cigar. Okay, don't, don't, don't smoke it. Don't smoke it. It's terrible. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Finally admitting it. <laughs> <laughs> don't avoid them. Uh, All right, well, they're oh, talking about Davidoff, if we may. Remember t two weeks ago oh, and then last yeah. week? You remember the, uh, their, their, their year of the whatever, the, the yes. box? Have, have they gotten back to you? I'm still waiting for Davidoff to get back to me on that. At this point, I'm just expecting them to send me a free uh, 96 cigar box because this is yeah. crazy. I'm like, seriously? I, I filled out your little form. I'm still waiting for Davidoff. That's a bad customer service. I didn't even get oh. an email that said thank you for filling oh. out the form. So. That reminds me, last week, it was last yeah. week, they, they released the Davidoff Oro Blanco here in London. Yeah, Oro Blanco triple one or Oro Blanco yeah, three. Yeah, in a, sort of like in a, the singles come in these wooden coffins. Right. Yeah. And now it's a box, box of 10. 10. Do you have any idea what that cigar is retailing for in the UK? Do you have any idea? $750 a stick. Per stick. Yes. Really? So, I was going to say 75 pounds, so it's 750 Even pounds per Even Mirafil doesn't charge that much for, the first, a, for, for the first a, a first Oro Blanco, yeah. The first Oro Blanco that came out was $500. The second one was also $500. This one is $750 a stick. Well, it's That's crazy. Well, it's almost 700 pounds here. Between 550 and 700 pounds here. Yeah. So, so it's 750 so if you buy that, either you you really are and smoke it, you really have you don't know what to do with your money, or you're going to be saving that as a collector cigar and try to sell it uh, twenty years down the road. The problem is the problem is, well, maybe I'm wrong, but non-Cubans still do not appreciate that much in the value, right. and not and, and and somebody who's going to spend seven hundred and fifty dollars and is aware of Cubans and non-Cubans both 
would prefer buying an entire Cuban. box of yep. Cuban cigars yeah. as compared to just spending it on one cigar and that too right. a non-Cuban, which they're going to save. Had it been a Davidoff from the Cuban time, oh. or any of those, I would have spent $1,750 on that to just keep it as a collector's item, even if I'm not going to smoke. Right. Right. For this you're, thing, this, I'm not you're, sure. saying you're saying this in 2024. I am sure that because of what you're saying, it is a good time to buy that. But if you're if you're speculative, if you're speculative, buy those. Mm. Because even though it's it's to you and I, these are new world cigars, in 10, 15, 20 years' time, there'll be a different generation of cigar smoker who will value that yeah. cigar and say, Oh, it's got Davidoff name on it. I agree. Oh, it was the first time. So today it doesn't yeah. today it makes no sense. It's a shit cigar in a shit box right. covered in paper. It's total fucking shit. Right, but that they total fucking like shit. That. Those dead leaves will be worth something in the future. And right yeah. now, when everyone is downplaying it, it's probably the right, from an economic perspective, it's right, right, the right. right time to buy. In the same way that if you went and bought some cigars in the eighties, they were just cigar. They were just cigars. Right at the end, of, they were just cigars, and all cigars were the same. But if you hung on to them forty years later, they're worth a fortune. Yeah. Well, again, you're again. What you're missing in this case is, in eighties, generally the cigars were only Cubans, and not others. Uh, and 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 those have always appreciated in their value, regardless of the global pricing that was introduced two years ago. They always be, were 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 like this. But in the non-Cuban sphere, there will again be a lot of Oro Blancos coming at that time, which will be valued at this kind of stuff. So I do not deny to what you're saying. And yes, there will be a crowd. Having said that, I still feel the appreciation percentage or, or the, 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 the correlation might not be as strong as it could have been with the Cubans. And in my perspective, I might... Here's just, the difference. No, but here's the difference. There's Davidoff name on it. That's the difference. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Well, it doesn't matter now, but I'm asking you to speculate. Will it matter in 10 years' time? Will it matter in 20 years' time? That's the speculation. No. No, and here's why. Because yeah. we're of a generation when Zeno was alive. And we Thank remember, you. and we Thank remember, you. like the guys and um, Eddie and his father, we, we realize what that means if you're old school, old world cigar guys. See, right? even Mr. Partagas is dead. Mr. Partagas has been dead for more than 100 years. Well, I know, but, part, but he still it, does it, Cubans. It, but, and Cuban that's the thing. Mr. Lavignaga has been dead for 100 years. Yeah. Still Again, Cubans, Cuban. though. And that's, Cubans. But that's the point. Davidoff Cubans doesn't have the least. name that it used to carry. And they're trying to make it, it's just like, like we talk about, is cigars becoming a luxury brand yeah. item. $750 for a, a, a cigar, a stick, whatever you want to say. That's just dumb. And every single thing what? you're saying is a market indicator. Every single thing you're saying to me is let's say, da da let's say Davidoff, if let's say Davidoff finishes production in 10 years' time, guess yeah. what's going to happen? That's a different story. Now you're pulling right. a new qualifier. If no, no, right. What I'm saying is if it's on the downward trend, if it's on the downward trend, if you're if you're going to evoke things such as Zeno Dav Davidoff's not around and we're, we, we, we were... We were around when he was, so therefore we right. place a value. There will come a time where these brands, the dying brands, will become, and you can see it happening in the fashion Reza, industry. Reza, with that, Reza, 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 let's let, okay. Let me let me give you an example accordingly. So, the Cuban pricing has gone insane since mid of 2022 with the global pricing, right? Right. So the cigar that came out at that time, Cohiba, Victoria, Cohiba 55th Anniversario was initially launched at a price of $300 to $350, right? Even after two years, with the global pricing in effect and all of that, the pricing on that cigar is still somewhere around $375 because a lot of people are not buying it. And that is the flagship premier brand. And in Cubans and non-Cubans, well, arguably, Cohiba is considered to be the king of cigars, right? Now... The cigars that I, well, I have sublines from 2004, Cohiba sublines, the limited edition from 2004, which is actually 20 years old now, so a proper vintage category. That today in the British market and in the European market is coming out to be somewhere around 550 to 600 pounds, or let's say again, 
seven hundred dollars or seven hundred uh, euros kind of stuff. After twenty years, they are at this stage. Right? I would, in this situation, prefer going and buying two of the Cohiba fifty fifth anniversarios. Still save money on them as compared to that Oro Blanco. Even if I have to collect, because in ten years' time, the value of those two Cohiba fifty five would be. Extreme higher and a big multiplier as compared to the Davidoffs, or the ones which I have. Even if I buy one of them at the same price, it's going to appreciate by at least three folds by then. So, 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 in my opinion, personally, I think even with the economic indicators, though I like to keep my cigars as cigars, they're not the economics and 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 commodities which which are traded that way, and I like to keep it as a lifestyle thing. Uh, I still feel. Even pure economics, investing in Cubans is still going to be much valuable as compared to any of these Davidoffs and non-Cubans. Right, and there's new cigar brands coming out, like, like Rocky Patel, New yeah. Estates, and all these other cigars. And you know, some people think that you know that don't they've never had a Cuban, or some people that don't want to have a Cuban think they're better than Cubans, and that's fine. So they are coming out. Like I said, it, well, the guy that I met at the store that's like, oh, I yes. bought a box. I was like, great. Did, did you like this cigar? What's it? He knew nothing about cigars. It says he paid a lot of money for it. So there's a whole bunch of cigar aficionados, for lack of a better term, that absolutely know nothing about cigars, know nothing about the history of cigars. Yes. And they're just buying cigars because, you know, it's cool. Or to someone's point, you know, if they have more money than brains, they're doing it. I'm going to collect cigars. Okay. Now, the one guy that you had me on the private call with that literally his whole office is a collection of cigars, been collecting since like the late 80s. He knows cigars because he'll tell you like, so the seed came from this seed that came from this island. And the Cuban girl was, her name was Veronica. And she rubbed the cigar. I mean, he, so he's a collector. So, yes. you know, it, there's, there's a different thing. People now, because money seems to be easier than it used to be, they're over, they're, people are upping and overcharging for things they shouldn't. And people, to say that they have it, are buying things that they normally wouldn't buy. And cigars now are becoming one of those, you know, like the, it's the Beanie Babies of the 80s. You know, it's yeah. like, oh, I have a Beanie Baby. Good for you. But it's the same type of thing now. People are starting to collect because it's becoming more of a fashion statement to show people in your house, look at my cigar collection. And if you ask them about the cigars, they know nothing. Or they Absolutely. go, have you, have you smoked one? No. Oh, okay. So it's a different mentality than it used to be, like when we all started. When we smoked cigars, when we all started 100 years ago, it was like, oh, okay, I like it. I like smoking cigars. I enjoy the cigars. They're really good. So it was a little different um, than it is today, in my opinion. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I see. Absolutely right. Yeah. And, and my, our sincere apologies, Raza, for making you go quiet. And that thinking yeah. more, and accepting <laughs> the defeat for today. So it's all right. For a change, it's our day today. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I will say one thing that this Fuentes, here yes. I'll, I'll hold up the tube, is actually yeah. a nice, it's a nice smoke. I en I'm, I'm enjoying it very much. Um, I, and can, I, can, I, can, I can see the ash you're holding in it, and it tells the construction is really interesting. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And I've tapped out the ash, I think, once or twice. Yeah, I get nervous because when the ash gets too long, I'm just worried it's going to fall all over me. So, you know, yeah, that's, that, that's kissed by a cigar. Yeah. So, but I mean, it's just, yeah, but the ash is good. The construction is good. The smell is nice. The, as you can tell, the smoke is good. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a nice, it's a nice little cigar. So, yeah, I enjoy it. So, kudos to Puentes. And this is the uh, Lost City God of Fire. So, you know, from 2002, apparently. Oh. Yeah, according to the band. <laughs> 22 years. Yeah, there you go. 2002. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, a lot. Ah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I had the pleasure. Okay, which one is this? Is this a Robusto or a Toro? Um, I think this is the Robusto, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, okay. Okay, so I had the pleasure of smoking a new Robusto, Lost okay. City, which was a production of 20. 21 or 2022. Okay. I, was I was gifted a box of uh, a box of samplers of Lost City by a friend, and I smoked one of them, the Robustos. Um, I, I, as I said, I felt it decent when it comes to the construction, the smokability, the ash, and and and, and how it smoked. A bit of flavor as well, but not too much as right. as, as I generally 
or maybe I'm biased, but yeah, that's that's what had happened. Yeah, it's a beautiful scar, and this one I like because it tells you the whole story on it. This one is um, yes. it was it was da- uh, Andy Garcia. Yes, um, helped put it together. It tells you how it was aged. Blah blah blah. It's I mean I like to tell. Listen, I know it, they're not the best, they're not the worst, but I like the fact that they tell a whole story right on the tube. And I like yeah. also the tube when I travel because I can put it in my breast pocket. I don't have to bring my whole cigar and paraphernalia with me to yeah. go smoke one of those somewhere else. So Sounds we're going to tell you. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. Riza? <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you bring Riza back to the show? He's right there. Uh, really? No, I'm, no I'm, you know what? Uh, just to share with you what I was thinking. I'll, yes, I'm please. smoking this is the, this is the third yeah. Topaz I'm go? smoking in three days. Relax. Okay. So, hang on, let me show you. It's the third one that I'm smoking in three days. Here's yeah. my opinion. Here's my opinion. I prefer the Media Luna. Okay. Can I say something? Please. And I don't know why anyone, knew- other than in terms of smoking there we time, go. why this would be a superior cigar. The Media Luna has a deeper, grassier, more leathery taste. This is a the- nice cigar, but it doesn't have the flavor. Pro- Obviously, it doesn't. They're all different. Right. Medium Luna is a better cigar. You for- you're forgetting the fact that I've always shared my well, that I always think that's my personal opinion, but I, I, I tend to see a lot of people agreeing with that, is that the thinner ringages deliver more flavor profile and aroma as compared yeah. to the thicker people ringages. People who with- market cigars like this just want more. to make more money. That's all. It's all about money. It's all bullshit, yeah. by the way. There all we go. It's total fucking bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this yeah. is like a behemoth. Yeah. This yeah. is like that's yeah. all yeah. fucking yeah. bullshit. That's all fucking bullshit. All of this is a way to get more money out of you. Smoke right. the things you like, not the things that other people tell you are amazing. Right, like yeah. a Camacho. So, and in that, 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 this solid Cuban cigar smoker. Here My recommendation is that the very good smoke is the Camacho Connecticut. Oh my Try gosh. It. You Jeez. will not be disappointed. So, or you will, either way. So, <laughs> you, you're either going to like it or you're well, not. Well, it's 50 50, isn't it? It's, I was going to say, it'll be a 50 50 thing if you, um, if, you, if you like it or not. So, but, but that's the important thing. So, no, it's very good. Listen, the whole idea about cigars is more of a brotherhood than anything. Absolutely. Bring people together. We do our Saturday show. People from all over the world watch the live broadcast. And when we rebroadcast it a few hours later, more people watch it. So it is totally yeah. just to bring everybody here. And that's yeah, it. Because that's the book of the cigar is all bullshit. This is a bullshit thing. It's the camaraderie Correct. brotherhood that counts. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. And, and, at the end of the day. And, and the rigging we do for you. That's it. Primarily. The fun part of it. No worries. <laughs> And the find and the find out who he blows off. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dried leaves. We're talking about dried leaves. This really is, I'm gonna explode in a moment. Please don't. Wait, wait. Somebody oh, said no. second second secondly Rocky Patel. Ah! I'm not sure. <laughs> not at all. I'm just sure. And all the Rocky Patel guys, I'll send them on a corner to stand. The yeah, I'm not a Rocky Patel. Patel. Yeah, no man. No, I've not been impressed with any of his cigars. I smoked a ton, um, and I bought that one, the real expensive one, because I wanted to try it. And I was just like, "It's yeah. just, I'm, I'm sorry." It's, just it's, Usman, 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 why don't we suggest to Stephen you should start smoking Gurkha cigars? No, Gurkha used to make a good cigar called the Beast, and oh. then they stopped. Then the Beast, I smoked that about twenty years ago, and I enjoyed it. And then somewhere their production changed, and then the Beast sucked. So I used ghost. to smoke her. Remember the ghost? So, whenever whenever yes. these guys play the blends, they're always crap. I don't know yeah, why. But, but back in the day, the Beast was good. In the very beginning, when they came out, when they first introduced the Beast, whoever was doing the blending, mwah. and then all of a sudden, like a couple years into it, the Beast became like, oh, this is crap. I like one day I picked up a box, I smoked, I was like, uh, no, like I didn't even finish the box. I literally gave it away. Oh, okay. So well, I don't in, know what happened. In in, in, in Gurkhas, I, I generally don't really like Gurkhas, but there's there are three cigars which I'm okay with. The Double Perfectos, uh, right. which means both sides are uh, torpedo-shaped kind of thing, and or tapered. Uh, and that is 
12 years reserve, 15 years reserve, and 18 years reserve. Right. And I've, I've, and I've, I've, I've smoked them. There's a 21 years reserve also that I've smoked like once or twice, so I can't give my word on that. But 12, 15, and 18 are decent enough to be smoked. Uh, but obviously, they're, they're nowhere close to any of the uh, second or third tier Cubans as well. But yeah, they're right, right. Yeah, no, they're not. And they charge stupid money for it, like they're something. Oh. And I'm like, and here's the problem with people that don't really know cigars or don't smoke enough of them. They just go into the store and they're like, they go to the most expensive cigar, figuring it's the best cigar. Yeah. And, um, and that's not the way it works, kids. Mm-hmm. You got to like, it's it's like, you got to find the right everything. It's like, you know, right. everything has to be perfect. I know a lot of people, and especially these days, I know a couple of people uh, locally here who would hear anyone talking about any cigar that they've said are good. And the first thing they'll do is they'll just go and buy that cigar and uh, say, oh, I have that. I have that. Right. And the fact that they've never even tried it or they've never right. even sampled it, I, it makes me like wonder what are the guys, these guys doing? Are they actually in for smoking or show off or are actually collecting to be selling them at a better price later on. Right, so, right. but but in all of this stuff, the whole issue is they don't smoke, and yet can we? I have that as if they know what they're holding, right. or they're going to smoke or something like that. So, so that's the only thing which I really don't like. But yeah, yeah. But Abdul <laughs> says that he says um, uh, uh, come on, guys. Yeah. Abdul yeah. says that uh, people messaging away in Pakistan. It. Yeah, um, Abdul says the peps or the peeps in Pakistan love the gherkins. He says, "Come on, guys." Um, no, first of all, I don't come on, guys. Second of all, um, I'm not into, uh, I'm sorry, they changed their blend about 15, 20 years ago. I am not a fan. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be. But if the guys in Pakistan love it, God bless them, man. Just enjoy them. Well, I don't know which guys in Pakistan are we talking about. There's, there's three guys. They live in a, they live in a cave. You go up the mountain, ah. you make a right with it right there. You can't miss them. So. I, not, now I got you. Now I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Reza? Has the cigar has the cigar slowed you, or was it the bombardment coming from our side today heavier <laughs> than the usual that you could do? Do you, you, you do you do you really want me to be honest? Oh, no, I we very, want you to lie. I like very usual. I very rarely have a thoughtful moment, and whilst I'm sitting in front of a fireplace here and speaking right. to you guys, I, I I basically tapped out, as you say. I went into yeah. a sort of like. I was really focusing on something I don't really think about that much. Right. Is cigar tasting notes. And ever since you started this conversation about two months ago, you know, those oils that we keep showing every single time. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at those oils again. Those oils. One of the things, there there are basically two efforts. There are two different efforts I have been making in the last two or three months. And those are specifically, I'm trying to smoke a little bit more slowly. Okay. There you go. There you go. There's all the vials of uh, various oils. magical oils. Yeah. That will give you tasting deep. notes. So that seems like a good kit. And then, so, so, so one right. of the things is to smoke slower. And the other thing right. is, is in the slower smoking to be slightly more contemplative about what you're tasting. And this is why it took me five minutes of zoning out to come up to this conclusion that I shared with Osman just now, that the Media Luna has got far more flavor and complexity than these bigger cigars. And that really always makes me question, honestly. It makes me question. Sorry? Have you smoked Polonialis? I have, 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 I had, I, that was that's, maybe that's, that's three months or four months that's ago. Even, that's even better than media, uh, media Luna in my opinion. So, that, so then once again, I'll have to smoke maybe two or three of those just to get my, you know, just to get my taste buds and my experience in. Mm-hmm. But the contemplative side today was literally, I'm watching these logs burning and falling off. I thought, well, what is it I'm tasting on this one? And I'll be very honest with you, to be very honest, apart from a good smoke and a part, good ring gauge, it's nothing special. It's, I'm okay. not, it's, I'm not, I, I've smoked this three times in three days, and each time has been a slightly different experience. Overall, I'd say it's a very average to good experience. Okay. okay. The Media Luna, however, 
is a good to very good experience. Right. So that's how I'm rating these things in my head. How am I actually feeling? Am I tasting anything? And you know, sometimes you can get carried away. One can one can get carried away with you know the band on the cigar. One can get carried right. away with 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 so, sometimes you're having too much conversation. You think you're having a great cigar. Actually, what you're having is a great time chatting right. and smoking. Is the cigar might might as well you know it's just there to string along your words if you know what I mean. But right. really, in that zoning out, I was tasting and. Uh, it's not bad. It's okay. Like it, would would I constantly be smoking topes from time to time? Maybe right. it's that kind of smoke, right? I, I I'm really making an effort in a very serious way not to get carried away by bands anymore. Wow! Yeah, as awesome. much as as much as with your eyes, you you buy with your eyes, and you're enticed right. by the band, and you're enticed by the history. You're enticed by a lot of things, which I think are a pure marketing spin, to be very, very honest with you. In yeah. my opinion, is it's all marketing spin. If you like something, make sure you like it. Enjoy. I mean, yeah. it's like saying that different sizes of aspirins. Yeah, I mean, it's still aspirin at the end of the day. Yeah, right. right. Whether it's a five milligram, 10 milligram, 20. It's aspirin at the end of the day. OK. And we won't go on about, oh, the, the, the five milligram is much, much nicer than the two milligram. Well, you know, it might give you a bigger hit, but it's still aspirin at the end of the day. And it's still, still right. dead leaves, right? Regardless of the blend. You have to be really, really fucking good to be able to pick out very minute flavor changes, just mm -hmm. like a good wine sommelier, just like a good cigar sommelier. You have to be really good at that. And you have to kind of focus in on that. And I was trying to focus in just now. And in the focusing in, I've come to a conclusion okay to you know average to okay that's what i feel that's my yeah. feeling so you know that's what i was uh contemplating have i given very you nice. an answer yes, yeah, that's, very cool. Cool. that's very good but see that's smoking and enjoying a cigar like uh, we we joke about my cao brazilians I like it for everything that it is. These other, this one's a very nice smoke. They're all nice smokes. But at the end of the day, everyone has their go-to cigars, whether it's Camacho, whether it's yeah. CAO, whether it's a Cuban, because it's what you enjoy. But the people that don't know, going back to cigars as a lifestyle and all this other stuff, they're going to go into a cigar store. A cigar guy, a real cigar chemist will take you and show you everything from the $2 stick to the $2,000 stick and everything in between. Yes. A guy who, who is just there to make a sale will take you right over to the you know fifty to two thousand dollars and go. You should buy these are really good, and because they're just trying to make a buck. So you really need to find also if you're going to buy cigars, whether it's a sommelier or a chemist that really knows cigars. Like some of these guys you talk to in a cigar store has no idea. Like if you go to Eddie's and his dad's store, they know cigars, and if you tell them what you like, they will show you an array of cigars from a prices of twenty pounds up to two thousand pounds. That's what, you, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for someone that can educate you and guide you through your journey, whether you've been smoking Thank for a day or you're smoking a hundred years. Thank you. So, yeah. well, gentlemen, you have to go to a wedding. Thank, yeah. tell them, thank you for holding it up. And Riza, yeah. uh, I guess you can go uh, blow off Kirby again. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> Kirby, we love you. Um, good luck with your interview you. this week. We can't wait to see it and how you plug our show on. It's a different kind of show. It's a different yeah. kind of show. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, more, it's, more re it's more refined. Ours is ours is yeah. truly what you get when you go smoke a cigar with your mates. Yeah. Ours is more like, this Talk is what so. you get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's no decorum here. We're just enjoying ourselves. We want you to enjoy yourselves. E e even um, though decorum is a Latin word. Mm. Oh. Oh, excuse us. Oh, he's really pulling out the intellectual stuff today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got to get ready for Kirby because Kirby, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. he's getting ready for the Kirby Thank interview. So, Curb Kirby. my enthusiasm. Oh, my God. Kirby, your Mine enthusiasm. Well. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Same God. Same God. There you yeah. go. That's how I look at it. Gentlemen, as always, it's good to see you on yeah. Saturday. Thank you for having them hold up the wedding. Riza, thank you for blowing them off for later. Yeah. Um, we'll see you guys. Mwah. All next Saturday. Thank you for watching. Tell your friends. Hey, Don't everyone. forget to subscribe and like. And we'll see you all later. Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Geo, everybody.